In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Math Test 8, Section 3, you know, calculator, questions 1 and 2 at the beginning of Section 3. We know these will be straightforward questions. Just work efficiently and get these questions right. Problem 1. We have this equation. In the equation above, what's the value of x? So just be careful here. You know, the first step I would do is you see we have to get the x's on the same side opposite the values, but we have two x's here. And we have two x's here. So what I would do is just cancel all these out, right? These are all going to cancel out. Now we're only left with the x's on this side. We have 4x. And I like to kind of circle them just to show that you counted them. We've got 7 and we've got negative 5. We're going to add 5 to both sides. So 7 plus 5 is 12 and x equals 3. All right, let's take a look at question number 2. So we have this xy coordinate plane. We've got distance traveled in feet on the y-axis, time in minutes on the x. The graph above shows the distance traveled d in feet by a producer on a conveyor belt and minutes after the product is placed on the belt. Which of the following equations correctly relates d and e? And so what I would do is just find a couple of points that you're pretty confident with. And again, look for points that are exactly on the line. It makes it just a little bit easier. So here's a point. We know this is one. Two. Another point exactly on the line would be right here. It's two, four, and we'll do one more point. We'll do this one is three, six. And so remember, they all are going to have the same slope. We're just looking for the relationship. So here we see that, remember, y is the distance traveled. We see y. I'm just going to put these values in. So y, we have two, four, and six x we have one two and three you see the relationship here we see that um, the distance is twice the minutes and so I'll just put D and M here and so we see the relationship here distance is twice minutes and the answer here is a